This video is brought to you by myvayteaching.com. Now let us study combination of capacitors. We can combine several capacitors C1, C2, Cn to obtain a system with some effective capacitance C. So the effective capacitance, it depends on the way the individual capacitors are combined. Okay. So if we usually arrange capacitors, we get in two forms. The first one is capacitors in series. So you can see in this figure, the capacitors C1 and C2, they are combined in series. See, one end of the capacitor is connected to another end, isn't it? So the left plate of C1, the left plate of C1 and the right plate of C2 are connected to two terminals of a battery. This one. The, these are connected to two terminals of a battery. It then follows that the right plate of C2 isn't it? And the Charge, it has a charge minus Q and the left plate of C2 has a charge plus Q. If this was not so, the net charge on each capacitor would not be zero. So this would result in an electric field in the conductor connecting C1 and C2. Charge would flow until the net charge on both C1 and C2 is zero. And there is no electric field in the conductor connecting C1 and C2. So in series combination, charges on the two plates are the same on each capacitor. And the total potential drop V across the combination is sum of the potential drops V1 and V2 across C1 and C2. So if you want to calculate the total potential difference, it is sum across each capacitance that is V1 plus V2 which is given by Q by C1 plus Q by C2. Okay. So we can write V by Q is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. Isn't it? So this proof clearly goes through for any number of capacitance connected in series okay we can consider the equation we can extend for n capacitors arranged in series then the total potential is given by the sub summation of individual uh, individual potential across each capacitance which is equal to q by c1 plus q by c2 and it goes on up to q1 okay then the effective capacitance is given by 1 by c is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 up to 1 by cn it goes on so this is in case of series capacitance the another form of capacitance that is uh, this is combination of capacitors n capacitance which are connected in series okay and the another form of capacitors the capacitors which are connected in parallel you can see in this figure two capacitors c1 and c2 they are connected in parallel so Parallel connection means uh, they are connected to the two same points. They are not connected end to end, but instead they are connected to two same points. Okay, in this figure we can see the two capacitors arranged in parallel. See the same potential difference is applied across both the capacitors. So here potential across each capacitor is same, that is V. 
in the previous case it was not it was different for each v1 v2 v3 but here it is same but the plate charges on capacitor 1 and plate charges on capacitor 2 are not same in the previous in capacitors when they are connected in series in that particular case the charges on each capacitor same Whereas when capacitors are connected in parallel, the charges are not same, but the potential difference is same across each capacitor. So the charge on capacitor, the plate 1 that is given by Q1 is equal to C1 into V and Q2 is equal to C2 into V and the equivalent capacitor is 1 with the charge q is equal to q1 plus q2 isn't it so we can write q is equal to cv which is equal to c1 into v c2 into v because v is same we can take v common so q by v is equal to c1 plus c2 so we can take C is equal to C1 plus C2 if capacitors are connected in parallel. So if you take the capacitors, N capacitors which are connected in parallel, we can extend the formula that is Q will be equal to Q1 plus Q2 and it goes on till Q1 okay and the capacitor total capacitance will be the summation the total charge and C will be equal to C1 plus C2 and it goes on till CN. Okay. Now let us see simple example here. A network of 410 microfarad capacitors is connected to a 500 volt supply. As shown in figure. Determine the equivalent capacitance of the network and the second part the charge on each capacitor. Note the charge on the capacitor is the charge on the plate with higher potential equal and opposite to the charge on the plate with lower potential. Okay. This is the figure what I have given. So here we can say the capacitors are connected in series, isn't it? They are connected end to end. They are not between same two points. Instead, they are connected to end, end to end in an end to end fashion. So, in a given network, C1, C2, C3, if you say C1, C2 and C3 are in series, But C4 is in parallel. Yes. Because if you find the equivalent capacitance for C1, C2, C3, next the network will become like this. This is the equivalent capacitance and the remaining one will be C4. After calculating the equivalent capacitance for C1, C2, C3, if we say that equivalent capacitance, what we will calculate is C dash. The network will come like this. So now we should calculate C dash. Then we have to calculate equal capacitance after that. Okay. So C dash, in order to calculate C dash, C1, C2, C3 are connected in parallel. So we know that. 1 by C dash is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3 
when cap capacitors are connected in parallel this is the equation that we have to use and uh, in the question they have given c1 is equal to c2 is equal to c3 is equal to 10 microfarad so 1 by c dash is equal to 1 by 10 microfarad plus 1 by 10 microfarad plus 1 by 10 microfarad and c dash will be equal to 10 by 3 microfarad so now we got c dash so c dash and c4 are connected in parallel so in order to get the final equivalent capacitance we have to add because in parallel we will add right so 10 by 3 plus 10 micro farad is equal to 13.3 micro farad okay this is the first part and coming to the second part clearly from the figure the charge on each of the capacitors c1 c2 and c3 is same because these three are connected in series say the charge is q and uh, let us say the charge on c4 is q dash because in parallel it is connected in parallel in parallel potential difference is same but not the charge since the potential difference across a b is uh, given by q by c1 potential difference across a b okay and across b c it is given by q by c2 across c d it is given by q by c3 so we can write q by c1 q by c2 plus q by c3 is equal to 500 volt charge is same we know that but q dash by c4 is 500 volt isn't it so this gives for the given value of capacitance we know value of c1 c2 c3 and c4 isn't it so we can write q is equal to 500 into 10 by 3 microfarad which gives 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 3 coulomb and for calculating the charge q dash that is 500 into c4 is 10 micro which is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 coulomb okay so this is the simple problem so first we have to analyze the problem whether the capacitors are connected in series or parallel once if you get that it's very easy to go further so when capacitors are connected in series the equivalent capacitance is given by the formula that is 1 by c1 is equal to 1 by c is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 and it goes on this is when capacitors connected in series when capacitors are connected in series the charge on each capacitance remains same so on c1 c2 c3 the charge is q it is same for all these three 
that is the first part and then when capacitors are connected in parallel the equivalent capacitance is given by c1 plus c2 up to cn so when capacitance are connected in parallel the potential v is the same for all the capacitors because they are connected between the same two points so in when they are connected in parallel the charge on each capacitance will be different when capacitance are connected in series the potential difference on each of the capacitor will be different okay so considering this points we have to solve the problem 